Hi there, it's Babs here for Madame So, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use an adjustable zipper foot. Um, we're going to be we're using a regular zip. You will need to have a tool or um, a screwdriver so that you can attach the foot to your sewing machine. It attaches here. And uh, we're going to need a couple of pieces of fabric with your seam allowance already pressed. So if you grab all that, I'll show you how to attach the foot to your sewing machine. Unlike most of the feet in the 32 presser foot set, this one will actually need to be attached to the shank of your sewing machine. So we'll need to release the, the screw here, which if it's prepared, you can do just gently. Um, otherwise you will need to use a, um, a tool that comes with your sewing machine or indeed a screwdriver. So then we're going to pop the presser foot onto the shank of your sewing machine and do the screw back up. You can start off doing this manually, but you will need to finish off just to make sure using a screwdriver. Just to secure it in place, we don't want that flying about. And uh, let's see what the actual use of this foot is. We have an orange um, dial on the back of the presser foot here that we can loosen. And this then allows us to move the presser foot itself left and right which means we can then align that foot where we want it to go to work with our zip and uh, this is particularly useful if you have a sewing machine that does not have a left or right position for the needle once we've got that in place we can simply make sure that we have our seam allowance already pressed pin our uh, fabric to our zip, leave the zip open to start off with and then sew along that inner edge. Back tack to secure things and then sew on with a straight stitch. With the uh, needle in a down position make sure that you zip up you may need to raise the presser foot and zip up back out of the way and then you can continue on along the edge of that zipper. Back tacking when you reach the end just to secure everything in place. This then gives you a nice even edge to your first row of stitches. And what we're going to do now is reposition the needle, um, rather, what we're going to do now is reposition the foot so that we can sew down the opposite side. What we're going to do now is open the screw at the back so that we can adjust the position again of the zipper foot so that it is moving across to the other side so that we can then work the other side of the zip. Um, we're going to just make sure that everything is lining up as we would expect it to do. Sometimes the easiest way to do that is just to drop that presser foot. And we can see where the needle is coming and clearly that is not in the right position. So we raise that presser foot, slide everything across a bit further and drop it again to see where we land. At this time that is where we want it to be. So we'll just tighten that up, make sure that the needle can drop through by hand cranking. And um, in that case, we can now position our fabric and our zip. And we can start again. So we're going to back tack to begin. And then we will sew on down. And then this gives us these beautifully aligned lines of stitching for our zip insertion. And that is how you use an adjustable zipper foot. I hope that tutorial was useful to you. And if so, please subscribe to the Madame Sew channel for more tutorials and information on the Ultimate Presser Foot Set. I'll see you around for the next tutorial. Bye for now.